Hey, it's me, MLB. Here's part five of 50 Ways to Kiss. Enjoy! With some very distressed hand flailing and garbled words to Kaminari and Mina, you managed to flub out an excuse, then grabbed Shoto by the scruff of his shirt and dragged him out of the side door and to the back part of the school, where you pushed him back first up against the wall and held him there. This does not feel like a friendly hold, Shoto said, looking down at you calmly with those mesmerizing eyes. Are you displeased with me? Displeased, you wheezed out gripping your fingers harder into his shirt fabric. You just told Kaminari what we did! Or, I, I don't know what you said, but he seems to think that we did something else as well. You weren't supposed to say anything! Forgive me, Yin. I forgot. And I enjoyed what we did during the holiday break. Yeah, but... But you're still not supposed to say anything to anyone about it. It's our secret, you said, the embarrassment turning to a little humiliation. Shoto could see that you were hurt now, and he gently wrapped his arms around you and gave you a hug. I am sorry, he said softly, bowing his head down to rest it on top of yours as he held you close. I don't want them to think that we do those kinds of things, he said in a wobbly voice. I will make things right, he said suddenly, straightening with the intent to walk back and explain everything to your two classmates. No, you stopped him. I think you've said enough. Just stay here with me. I need to gather the courage to set the record straight. He nodded, lying his head back down on top of yours, and you tilted your head timidly back a little bit so that you could see his face. He had his eyes open, and as he tilted your head back, his lips found yours. You were always fascinated by how one of his lips was quite warm and the other cold, and as you kissed, you tasted each in turn while his tongue explored your mouth. Shoto inhaled deeply as you made out and you did the same. You loved how he smelled, like ice and campfires. You were so engrossed in your little makeout session that you didn't hear Mina or Kaminari coming around the corner to look for you both. So when they stepped out, the first thing they saw was you, with him, pressed against the wall and your mouths in a heated battle for dominance. Oh, on school grounds and all, Kaminari teased lightly with a smirk on his face. The sound of his voice gave you such a fright that you yanked back and promptly tripped backwards, but your backside never had the chance to hit the ground because Shoto had already grabbed your hand to save you from the fall. G guys you stammered, allowing Shoto to pull you back up to standing. L let me explain the holidays. He, he said some things that weren't right, you said defensively. Mm? Mina hummed with a smirk on her face. I'm ready. Spill the beans. W well... First of all, we didn't do anything like what you think we did, you said evasively. Like, she pressed. I don't know, like stuff, you replied. Todoroki? Mina then asked. We used our mouths, Shoto added in. No, you shouted. Well, yes, but Shoto, you're not supposed to say anything. Oh, yeah, I see what happened. You did a little 69, eh? I fail to recall what that one is again, Kaminari. Can you please explain? Shoto asked innocently. No! Don't explain. Please. And no, not 69, you said with an embarrassed look on your face, trying not to look at Shoto. Yin has told me that we are to keep this a secret between ourselves, Shoto said firmly. And I do not wish for her to be upset if I tell of the things that we did. But I will say that I enjoyed it and I want to do it again sometime soon. Mina and Kaminari gave each other sly looks, then Kaminari stepped forwards to high-five Shoto. Put it there, my man, he said in a friendly voice. You got more action than all of us boys combined. Shoto allowed the high-five and then looked at his hand for a long time after while you kindly dismissed the two curious classmates and then turned back to him. So embarrassing, you whispered. What is 69 again? Shoto asked again from behind you. Ah... Uh, it's um, where you hold hands and skip happily together, you lied. Oh, Shoto said. Well, may we 69 back to the class? You tried not to snort and did your best to hold a neutral face, then held out your hand to him. Yeah, sure, he said with a smile. He took your hand and you moved to his side so you were now side by side. Okay, now skip, you said, taking a step forward and waiting for him to step then doing a little skip and placing the other leg down. 
let's be honest, watching Shoto use all of his concentration and focus to try and skip merrily was rather comical, and you found yourself giggling the whole way back to the doors while trying to give instruction. Oh, Todoroki, Yin, Midoriya called brightly as you approached him at the doors. He stopped to watch what you were doing and a confused smile graced his face. What are you doing? He asked innocently. We are doing 69, Shoto said plainly, and you screeched, scaring both boys. What's that? Midoriya asked. It's what you just saw, Shoto said. I will show you. You couldn't help but burst out laughing, and both boys eyed you curiously, but Shoto was determined to show Midoriya his newfound skill, and the boys fell in step side by side, without holding hands, and started to skip together away from the doors. You were laughing harder now, but your laughter had gone to the other end of the spectrum, and you were just shaking silently and holding your middle as you doubled over. Then Yuraraka turned up. What's funny? she asked, looking at you as you remained doubled over on the ground, pointing at Midoriya and Shoto skipping side by side. Yuraraka saw the funny side and started giggling too, clapping as the boys skipped back to you. What are you doing? she asked through her chuckle. 69, Shoto replied. No! You wheezed. 69? Yurarika asked with confusion. Did someone say 69? Saro asked, walking out at that moment. Yes, Shoto said seriously. Midoriya and I are doing 69. No! You wheezed. Oh boy! Saro replied with surprise and a head scratch. I don't know about this one. God, what have I done? You wailed through tears of laughter. Yin, you and Yuraraka 69 now, Shoto said to you. No! You cackled out again. Stop! It's called skipping. Lord help me, I'm sorry. Skipping! Please call it skipping! Why not 69? Shoto asked. Because that's something else entirely, Sarah said plainly. What's 69? Shoto, Midoriya and Yuraraka all asked in unison to the very unprepared Sero. And that's when you took off running. She's a runner, she's a track star. <laughs> it took a bit of a comical twist at the end, but I felt like it needed to lighten up a little bit. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Next week will be part four of You Lose, the villain Bakugo one-shot. So I will see you then.